back on Hockey Odyssey. Given the fact that it was pitch black outside during our grueling six-hour climb to Kilimanjaro's crater rim, there is no video to share of the actual ascent. Bruins captain Zdeno Chara describes it. I've done some really tough training sessions, and uh, but this is nothing to compare uh, to what we uh, experienced uh, uh, basically from uh, waking up at 11 at night after only like two hours of sleep. Um, going through the whole night, climbing really steep uh, hill, um, was fresh stone underneath that we were slipping, uh, losing, uh, losing the ground, uh, falling down at times. Um, and obviously the alt altitude was uh, doing their, their own and uh, uh, we had to stop on the way up probably like 10 times. Uh, everybody started to feel it. Because of the altitude, it's really, it just feels like it's all you can do or all I could do to put one foot in front of the other and it's minute after minute, it's hour after hour and it's just progressively, uh, it was really hard by the end to just keep going and uh, yeah, it was, it was absolutely exhausting. Our entire five-man unit successfully reached Gilman's Point at 18,650 feet, an official summit point. After congratulations, hugs and photos, the inevitable question was raised. Who wants to go on to Uhuru Peak, the top of the continent, at 19,340 feet? It was another 700 feet upwards, about a kilometer away, along the crater rim on a narrow stone and ice path. Mark Brender tried for a short time and then declined. He was weary, not feeling so good. Producer Daryl Lepic said no. He had altitude symptoms. I said yes. Cameraman Mark Berg said yes. And finally, Chara said no. He was exhausted. He didn't want to slip. He didn't want to compromise his hockey. We were just dead tired. We were, we were, we were going like this for, 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 the whole, uh, for the whole week or six days. Uh, every day just walking and walking. And it was a never-ending story. We were, we were being told it's going to be three hours. And instead of three, it was like four, four and a half. And then we had to do some uh, acclimatization uh, climbing and that was another three hours and uh, really, really exhausting uh, the whole uh, six days. So for sure, um, one of the toughest things, if not the tough, toughest thing in my, in my life I've done. Oh my God. The two of us grinded our way to the peak. Made it. Three porters and our head guide came with us. On the top of Africa, to our left and distant right stood enormous glaciers. The crater floor sat more than a thousand feet below us. For 10 minutes we took it all in and then departed quickly, absolutely spent and anxious for descent. It wasn't over because we had to go down uh, pretty much the same route we came up, uh, sliding again uh, you know, through those uh, you know, fresh stones and actually it felt like skiing. But it took us about three hours to get down to the to the camp, and uh, we were waiting for those other guys to come uh, come back. And uh, then we realized it wasn't end end of the day. We had to walk uh, another three and a half hours to uh, basically another camp. Eventually, we all made the quick and vigorous descent to Kibo Hut at 15,420 feet. After some recovery and rest, we went down another thousand feet over three hours to our campsite at Harambo on the mountain's main trail. The descent helped ease and erase Lepic and Brender's altitude symptoms almost completely. We had finished a 16-hour day of trekking and hiking. Incredible trip overall, and, and uh, you know, being able to do that climb and that trek in six days in the tent, and then uh, and going up was a challenge that certainly would have expected to be that tough. It was pretty incredible. Our sixth and final day was spent going downhill for five hours through moors and valleys and then through rainforest. The last leg brought an unexpected pleasure, a look at wild colobus monkeys and then black monkeys. In less than 24 hours, we had passed through at least seven different climate zones, from glacial ice pack on the mountaintop to the rainforest near the gate at the end of the trail. Our six-day Kilimanjaro adventure came to an end, a trip that not long after seemed more like a dream than reality. Captain Zdeno Chara of the Boston Bruins had led us on a true hockey odyssey.